Mouthpiece, mouthpiece. Good luck to both of you. Lumpkin winks at referee Jack Reese. The second round in Carson last ball. Longest tour of duty in the knockout streak. Triple. Now he has a harder target to find. But he unleashes the heavy artillery. He thinks, I uh, thought he was going to fit him out because he open up and fire some heavy shots. And there's a hard right hand. Mm -hmm. Knows what it is to be hit with a brick. Fighter who's come up through the ranks and fought Darnell Boone has either lost or nearly lost to him. Golovkin landed a short right hand inside. Weapon against Southpaw fighters for most conventional fighters. Good body shot. And some pretty good punches. Defense so far in this first round, Roy. Avoiding those shots without wasting much energy, turning his shoulder. And use his head moving to two. I, I see so far Golovkin outboxing Monroe just because he's the guy coming forward. Has landed twice as many punches as Monroe. Step away from each other. Like Chocolatito on the. He's not only heavy handed, he's skillful and precise. Crowd losing Oz at the body shot to the belt line by Golovkin. Willie Monroe said in the meeting with us yesterday, here he has shown that he can, in fact. The biggest problem Monroe has is he hasn't hit Golovkin with any practice. And when he can have free range target practice, that's what happens. Down goes Monroe. Boom. And down went Willie Monroe. He goes target practice at you because he's going to catch you sooner or later. Once again, traps Monroe in the corner. And Monroe's still really on his feet, and Glafford won't get him room to think. It's constantly keeping the pressure on. goes Monroe for the second time. Lovkin's got 46 seconds oh. left in the round. Well, lands a second left uppercut. Right hand, left hook to the body. Overhand right, hurt him really bad. So if you could not have been very smart here. Monroe showing big heart, not just fighting. Willie Monroe gets a momentary edge there as Jack Reese warned on the low blows. Try, and Golovkin with one more rally. With a beautiful left hook to the head. You saw that coming because he was allowing Golovkin to stalk. He can stalk like this. He's bound to catch it with something big soon. Beautiful left hook. I didn't mention it, but I saw in the first round that the left hook could be a problem. Impossible because his head stays up and his like hands that. go down. Yeah, he counters the, the right hook from one more. You see Monroe land much of anything until Triple G hurt him. Boxing before Monroe was hurt, I don't think it's that Monroe was hitting him with anything hard. He wasn't hitting him much, period. He thought putting some power on punches to get respect or he won't be in this fight low. There you go. Yeah. Golovkin has been looking to the body this round. Now throws two upstairs. You see that the beggar can put you down. You have to make him respect you. You to walk through your punches until he gets the knockout. And you got to watch that left hook from Triple G because Triple G trying to set it up again. Hurt him. And he may be right about that. As he showed, knocking out Daniel with the right hand. Took a couple of punches from Rubio and Curtis Stevens. Well, and ripping to the body as well as he can with a couple of body shots of his own. For Gennady. Another straight right hand lands for Gennady. Because when he comes up high to move, it's when he gives Gennady. If movement is not working for you, stop moving and fight. You got to give him a 10 7 round for the two knockdowns in round number two, Jim. So, you know, that gives him a real big lead on the scorecards. It's a very big ring. Willie's got a lot of room to move along the ropes where Gennady catches him constantly. On the ropes and in the corner. Although, Roy, as you said, now that he's. He's not landing anything running, so he should go ahead and just take it right here. Oh. It's a minor upset already that Monroe's here in round. Yes, it is, but it's because he's fighting more now. When you throw those little punches, as we saw against Daniel Gill, oh. Gennady will walk through those little punches. Those are big shots Monroe's hitting Golovkin That's with exactly speed. right. That's exactly right. He got to do that. You got, and he tells you to come on anyway. I don't get played on Golovkin. Oh, he felt him, but Monroe has to throw. Willie Monroe is putting forth here in round number four. Unreal. Interesting. He's got to make sure he doesn't get caught with it. He may not make it through the rest of the fight, but he's certainly earned Guys, the love and respect. God, he's head in this round. <laughs> Real stuff on him. Well, he's only got six knockouts. A chance to really prove it. Was a Herculean effort. Throwing punches 
do a jab and follow with a beautiful straight left hand. Probably one of the hardest shots we've seen Golovkin get hot hit, get hit with. And Golovkin just looked at him and said, yes, good punch. Come on. I agree with Harold. I mean, oh, uppercut lands for Golovkin. Seemed to hurt Willie Monroe. I Oh, oh. hook how the top of the head hurt really bad, Jim. And that's because he's not punching. When he's punching, he, you can't let Golovkin just stalk you at, and hunt you like this. At, you have to make him avoid you or avoid your power punches. Golovkin once again motioning to him like, come on. I might know that he didn't counter back. I mean, that was another one. Uh, up to like two dozen real hard headshots, but Golovkin appears to be visibly slowing down. Now he gets in two body shots. This is where Golovkin has done damage before. Whoa. For one big shot. Hard right hand. Preserved Monroe's legs for this point in the fight. A minute or so, Golovkin seems to have not. Golovkin took over the punch count leadership round oh. again. Heard it with Great a right uppercut. Right uppercut. Heard it really Great bad, John. He's right. wobbled Monroe again. Yeah, right and up he's got him against the ropes. Oh, my right uncle hurt him really bad, and the hook just hurt him even worse. He's out of here. Third knockdown. He you want to continue? Him. His legs are you gone. You want to continue? His legs he's are done. gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Willie Monroe. Six. Do, do a right uppercut, followed by a left uppercut to the neck, an overhand right to the top of the head. That hurt him really bad. So he took a, a, a he gave a jab to take a big shot. Then that left uppercut hurt him really bad right there. Followed by that left hook right there, right behind the ear. That really was the finishing punch to me. To an overhand right, followed by a left hook. Now he smells blood. He's on the attack, and he will not let up because he's relentless once he starts that attack. Hey, go!